lost her phone. Get that man his phone. He's going to be in trouble. That woman her phone. US President Joe Biden is seeking to leverage a restrictive abortion law in Florida. It's hoped the plan will benefit Democrats ahead of the election. President Joe Biden underscoring how his party hopes to put Florida back in play this fall. It should be a constitutional right in the federal constitution, a federal right. And it shouldn't matter where in America you live. It's about, this isn't about states, right? It's about women's rights. Biden focused on reproductive rights in Tampa as a law banning most abortions after six weeks in the state of Florida is set to take effect next Wednesday, May 1st. Democrats hope the ban, coupled with a ballot question in November seeking to enshrine abortion access in the state's constitution, can motivate moderate voters and women this fall. But I think starting in Tampa today on this message of abortion in light of what happened in Arizona and other places, I think is a good strategy. While Trump has said abortion policy should be left to the state, He's also said some states have taken it too far, including Arizona, where the state Supreme Court recently ruled that a 160 year old near total abortion ban can be enforced. Some Republicans not overly concerned about Florida, which Trump won in 2016 and 2020, or Biden's visit while Trump sits in a New York courtroom for his hush money criminal trial. I think uh, a tactical move on the Biden administration's part to go to Florida while President, former President Trump's on trial here to come and make the point that he can't be there to defend his home turf. The Biden campaign seeking to tie restrictive abortion laws in Florida, Arizona, and other states to Trump's nomination of three conservative Supreme Court justices who helped overturn Roe v. Wade in a 2022 decision.